Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's uh, January 5th, 2020. Um, I've been thinking about a couple things. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to share a few things with you. Um, I used to watch Bear Grylls, you know, the survivalist. A lot, and it actually gave a, a lot of tips, even though he was even though he sold his soul, but anyway. Um, there was one in particular that I really, that sticks with me. Apart from building fires or how to build a fire in, in the woods when it's just rained and Whatever. I'm, I'm just saying, this was an interesting thing that he, that he used to do, and that was to tell time. See, time never changes. Um, time will always be the same for eternity, or forever how long you're here. And the reason why time never changes... is that you're on a flat stationary earth. Everything else is moving, you're standing still. You're not moving. You're in a planetarium. Because every star and the moon and the sun have to be sequentially moving all the time, every time, at the exact time. The reason why I bring up time is because I when you take your palm of your hand like this and you put it toward the sun you just get it right underneath the sun and you measure the palm of your hand to how many hours you have in the day and that's how you tell time as simple as that oh well three palms three hours left until the sun goes away from us and that's what it does it goes away it doesn't rise it doesn't set it goes away and that's the only way a flat earther can explain the sun, okay, because we were brought up to believe that we lived on this ball and that, that, that we were revolving at a thousand miles per hour, and that's what created sunsets and sunrises, but it's not true, okay. And a lot of people tell me they can prove the flat earth, I mean the uh, ball earth, the globe, the globers, whatever you want to call them, because of sticks in the ground. <laughs> And, and that doesn't prove shit. That doesn't prove a flat earth, nor does it prove a globe earth. Okay? What proves a globe earth to us, who are flat earthers, who have wakened from this sickness, this disease, is a real picture. That, a, 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 real doc, a, a real picture of earth. And they can't produce it. They can't produce shit. And they never will be able to produce it. That's good. Right in my blind spot. Just sit there. Don't move, you know, so I can't see you. And they and they won't produce it. And they never will. Okay? And that's that's the whole thing. I mean, you see, as a flat earther, you have to understand what we've uh, gone through in order to come to... Um, realization. Our... Uh, Awakening, if you want to call it that, which it is, okay. But how, how did we actually get here? How did we, how did we come up and with this idea, you know, with that the, the Earth is flat? And and I'll tell you, you know, we were all indoctrinated with the uh, with the ball uh, in front of our face ever since we were children, ever since we were children. And that's what you want to do in order to indoctrinate somebody. You get them right when they're young. Okay, and that's the best way to do it because then it's implanted in their head over and over and over again. I mean, just look at the notes, okay, of of the top brass in the military, you know, of of how to how to control billions of people. All right, and this is not just in in my country. This is worldwide. Okay, you have to understand that this is a worldwide like almost treaty that every single school in the entire world has to follow this system. And they do. Regular as clockwork. 
The same thing this first grader is learning is in, in America is the same thing that they're learning in the UK. It's the same thing that they're learning everywhere. If you look at it, it's written as a textbook. Okay, and that's the thing. Remember that word textbook. <sighs> Give them a globe. Give them Star Trek. Give them Star Wars. Give them all the space movies in the world. And just let them run with it. Let them let them create their own universe. And that's basically what everybody's done here. Is because our imagination is unlimited. They've created this own little universe of, of where the stars are, where the planets are, and, and where everything is. It's like they've created a bubble of, of a universe almost. And that bubble, the only way that it can be burst is to figure out and to use your perspective and to understand why this is real okay and it's it's not bullshit you know how could you how could you um prove flat earth i can't but what i can prove to you are the lies and those will never go away okay just like nasa nasa is nothing but a bunch of lies it's a government uh, institution that makes you believe that we're going to the moon. We're going to Mars. Just like Elon Musk, same thing. He's a puppet, okay? Don't you understand that? They need these people, these liars, to continue this. But yet, what do they do? They put out CGI bullshit. They give us no proofs. They give us no facts. All they say is the Hella Hubble telescope is up there. But yet, they can't flip that fucking thing around and do a real zoom time on a town. Okay? Like I said, so I could stick my middle finger at them like this, and you've got my picture. But yet, they won't ever do it. They can't do it. All they will give you are CGI pictures of far galaxies in the middle of nowhere that you'll never see. Uh, I, and, uh, you know, rendition drawn from an artist. Just like NASA. NASA with this ISS that's floating around up in the sky. Yeah, sure, there's something up there. We don't know what the fuck it is. But we certainly do know it. And do not, no, it's not the ISS and there's nobody on it. It's a light in the sky. I mean, just look at the mathematics on it. I mean, you know, look look at the measurements. I mean, how, how could you, you know, zoom in on something like that if it's that far away and it's only the size of a football field? You know, how, how can I zoom in on the planet, uh, I mean, on, on moon with craters with a P-1000? P-1000, I could zoom right in on a crater and blow it up to the size of the screen that you're looking at. But yet, with that very same camera, Four or five hundred, maybe three hundred miles away, I can't zoom in on there. Does that make any sense at all to you? But they will say it's the size, the enormous size. Well, that's great. That's just wonderful. The people they have coming against us, you know, scientists, you know, who, who are, are the worst. You know, I mean, just listen to some of these people. I mean, really listen to some of these people and understand what they're telling you. You know, understand that they don't know anything. Understand all they know is the indoctrination and they're regurgitating everything. They can't explain gravity. They can't explain light speed. They can't explain so many things to us that'll blow flat earth out of the water. None of them will. They can't. Okay. And here we are once again, another year, a new year talking about this and we always will because we're not finished yet we've got a long way to go guys <laughs> certainly we've got a long way to go um you know I, I think most people they're just so comfortable they don't want to be bothered with it they, they can't they can't be bothered with it and, and why be bothered with it you know i mean it's it's too much to handle for most people because uh, they, they can't do any research. You know, they, they expect pictures. They expect a picture of a map of, of, of the flat earth. They, they, that's what they want because that's what they grew up with. Because they're children, just like we were when we believe we lived on a ball. But we woke up and we now know what we live in here is very simple to understand. Simple enough for a child to understand. It's not mathematics. <laughs> There's nothing involved in it. Okay, it's flat, covered with a dome, and that's it. Your universe is here. It's not out there. We don't know what's out there, but 
everything that you know is here. All the stars, all of all this space travel, it's all here. It, because it's all fake. Okay, The stars are fake. The sun and the moon are fake. They're not tangible objects. And when I mean fake, I mean they're not tangible objects like we were brought up to believe. You can't land anything on it. You can't and never will be able to go out anywhere at all. And then I think to myself, you know, I mean, maybe maybe people can't realize it because they're, they're a little claustrophobic or something. You know, they don't want to be in this system. But I mean, think about it. It doesn't make a difference either way. Because, I mean, even if you were on a planet, you still can't go anywhere. <laughs> You're not going to build a rocket and go into fucking space. You're not going anywhere. So why? Where, I, so that's... So, then I, then I said, no, that, that, that's wrong. It's got to be something else. I mean, they feel like they're maybe in a prison or something. But you, you're, you're still in a prison when you're on, on the ball, too. I mean, don't you see the irony of, of this whole thing? I mean, it, it really, it's very funny um, in a way and sad. But when people start becoming awake and understanding what the real life is, okay, they're going to see a change in their attitude. And for the better, believe me, for the better. They'll be able to understand people better. You know, they'll be able to understand why they rational, they're, they're, uh, why, why they rash out sometimes, you know, when they get so angry. You know, I mean, it's, it's almost like, um, uh, so it's almost like a, a child um, not being able to figure out a mathematical computation. You, you know what I mean? Follow me on this. I mean, they, they just, they, they're so mad, they're so angry because you know, they don't understand it and that's the problem and that's the problem with a lot of the people that are coming after us is they just don't understand it you know <laughs> believe me i'd be the number one troll in the world if i didn't know the earth was flat and i didn't figure it out for myself i would be number one my subs would probably out sub anybody who's currently doing it right now because i would go after flat earthers like you wouldn't believe Anyway, I just figured I'd share that with you. Um, I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos and let me be a part of your life.